If you uh, take an example of the Hawaiian coral reefs, for example, you can see like 50 years ago to today's <laughs> current date that many of them have died off or many of them are, um, they have died at a faster rate. Live within the uh, coral reef anywhere in Hawaii, it has uh, drastically decreased and by that it means that everything that Hawaii, like its beauty, all it's about, it's, it's just going down the drain and pretty soon Hawaii will cease to exist as the paradise of the earth. Do you think there's any major effects happening when our garbage is being dumped into our oceans? So when we pollute the ocean with our garbage, the fish that we need to survive may be eating these toxins or getting stuck, which they could start to die off. And these smaller countries or islands, they could be deprived of their resources so they wouldn't they can't like survive anymore. On the other hand, the fish that do survive from the pollution, they could be transferred to the, they can be transferred to places that do eat a lot of fish, like big cities like Tokyo, United States, or anywhere big. And they could be the, the lead cause to disease. So these, technically, we could be killing ourselves because we are polluting the ocean with our own trash or garbage and we're releasing the toxins to the ocean and then we just keep eating so it's a cycle. I wanted to ask for your perspective as a surfer, how would garbage and plastic waste in the ocean affect how you live and what you do? Well, that's a very good question because as you can see, uh, I love Waikiki and surfing is uh, my pastime and ocean stuff is very important. Well, um, when I go surfing and I paddle out in Waikiki, there's one fish that gets me really upset. It's the ABC fish. What is that you say? Well, it's actually a plastic bag that has ABC on it. It's plastic, it's rubbish, and it's in the ocean. It shouldn't be there. But of course, there are many, 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 many ABC stores in Waikiki. And many, many, many people buying stuff, putting it in the bag, taking it out of the bag, and the bag goes whoop, into the wind, out to the ocean. And there I am paddling by and whoop. So what does it do for me? Well, first of all, uh, plastic, if it looks like clear plastic, uh, becomes looking like, you might say, a jellyfish. Uh, and young turtles like to eat jellyfish, i.e. plastic bag, jellyfish, they go for it and eat, and they ingest plastic. That's not good for them, it kills them. The other thing that, of course, plastic does, as you know, uh, is that if it breaks down into mi mi microscopic parts, it might settle on the reef. 
and when the reef is, is covered up, then the reef dies. And as you probably may or may not know, uh, the reef is where the waves break. So for me as a surfer, I need reefs. And for me, my children, grandchildren, etc., having a reef is important. Plastic on a reef kills a reef. No reef, no surf. I'm horrified. But that's not only a thing, but of course, as you know, the reef is food for many, many different animals, creatures, and so forth, and for man. In ancient times, of course, here in the islands, uh, the ancient Hawaiian people lived uh, from the mountain to the sea without any big barges coming over and bringing food. They grew their own. They went to the ocean and in the malama, the whole aina, they took care of everything. And they did well for over a thousand years. And now, 90% of the food that we eat comes from outside the islands. And we need to learn how to take care of our land and our oceans so that we can continue to eat, not pollute, and perhaps play in the ocean like I do for surfing. on garbage being dumped in the ocean is that it's very bad for the ocean and its habitat for all the animals that live there. Uh, we can liken it to us having garbage in our homes. We don't want garbage in our homes. It's an unsanitary environment for humans to live in. A lot of diseases and pathogens can occur from garbage in the house. And likewise, if there's garbage in the oceans, all the animals that live there also get um, diseases and have a lot of pathogens. Um, the ocean also uh, is a place where we get a lot of our uh, food, whether it's from animals or plants, whether it's like seaweed for nori and other things. So whenever we dump waste into our ocean, it's also bad for humans because we eat a lot of things that come out of there. And in essence, we are eating the garbage that we're putting into our ocean. Do you have any thoughts on the business side of garbage waste in our oceans? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I think, you know, the, the bigger the issue is, but people need to see value in it. Like, how does it affect their lives? Um, and, and the bigger the problem, the more entrepreneurs are going to go towards that. People are, are becoming more mindful that our earth is sick, and they're becoming more mindful that uh, we, we need change, and global warming has taken over. Um, and so I think, you know, it, it can happen, you know, just the value has to be there, the money has to be there. And once the money's there, then entrepreneurs, if we can send people to the moon, we can definitely fix this issue.